Hey kiddos, glad you came today for a reading lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to share your thinking about books. I know that while you're thinking, while you're reading books, you're thinking about the character, maybe you're thinking about the setting, maybe you're making connections in your own life, maybe you're having questions like how in the world did that happen? Well, here are some ways that you can record your thinking. Uh, if we were live, we could do a couple different things. Okay, share your thinking about books. If we were in class and if you are at home and you have a grown up or a sibling or a cousin or a dog or a stuffy to talk to, you can turn and talk and make sure you listen carefully. Now, if you're talking to a stuffy or a dog, there's not much listening going on, but if you're talking to another person, then you will wanna make sure you've got your ears turned on and your mouth turned off. Also ask questions to clarify. If you're not understanding something that a person is telling you or you're not understanding something about what you've read, ask the person who's with you and maybe that will help you clarify. If you're not with a person, you could still ask the question out loud and that might help you get started on your thinking. If you are talking with a partner, make sure you look at your, talk, your partner so that your partner knows that you are talking to them, not just wandering your eyeballs around trying to think of something to say. Also, give reasons for your thinking. Don't just flat out say your thought, say this is why I'm thinking this. And this is what we're going to work on next is when you write about your reading. So this is what I'm going to ask you to do for the assignment. So when you have your paper or your notebook and your pencil, you're going to write your thoughts. Just like if you were a person, if you were with a person and you were talking with a person, you would say your thoughts. In this instance, you're going to write your thoughts. Also, just like if you were with a person and you asked questions, write your questions down. Even though you're not going to get an answer back from your notebook, write your questions down because when someone reads those questions, maybe they can respond to you. Make sure to write in complete sentences. I am going to be reading this journal and I assume you will come back and read it later again sometime and you'll want to know what it was you were talking about. So make sure that you're writing in complete sentences and give reasons for your thinking. So just like when you're talking with a person, you wanna give the reasons for your thoughts, not just your thoughts. Okay, now it's your turn. Woo, that was fun. Okay, go find a book, either on Epic or the Fort Vancouver Regional Library, an app on your device, or go find a, a book or a story in your home somewhere. Uh, maybe you have a Kindle or some other kind of reading app, but find that book. After you've read that book, or if it's a chapter book, after you've read a couple of chapters, I would love it if you would get into your notebook, find your pencil, write your thoughts about the book. Did you like the writing? Why did you like it? Who was your favorite character? What was the place that you wanted to go to? Write your questions. Why did the character do this? How come the author put the setting here? Write in complete sentences so other people can go back and read it, and then write the reasons for your thinking as well. If you are writing this in your notebook journal, please take a photo of it either here on the Google Classroom or in Seesaw so I can read it. Uh, otherwise, if you're typing, just make sure you have a document set up to turn in, and if you have any questions, send me an email. Thanks a lot. See you another time.